G'day guys, Jeff here, and this is a request to use smoke. I think domination is a good match to do it, um, especially on areas like Rundown's Flag B. But uh, you can use it on Afghan as well to some success because it's quite an open map. I'm using the ACR with Hollow, as you can see, Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro, and uh, of course Semtex with the smoke. So it's pretty easy to cap C solo. Um, there's going to be no red men on this map, uh, and uh, I'm trying to get you some battlefield videos as well. But uh, I think by now you know that uh, Afghan's an open map and uh, the threat areas are fairly easy to find. Couple of kills there. Now because I'm running the smoke I don't have the stun check or flash check option so I actually throw my Semtex here just to keep them back. And the reason I'm not destroying those explosive barrels is because I want to use them later. Um, retreating here is a good tactic because hopefully they'll use their explosives thinking I'm still around the corner. Um, obviously I'm not on their minimap anymore. But uh, as I can't see where that person is, um, I know he's around there. I'll just get a glimpse of him, pick up a kill streak, but I'm still getting shot at. So here I'm actually going to use the barrel to my advantage. It doesn't work out for me in that case. Uh, I probably could have put uh, a less shot in there. But as I see him come around the corner, I pre-fire anticipating him running around the corner because I don't anticipate him stopping. If he didn't run around the corner, I'd continue my pre-firing but then throw it into the, uh, throw the shots into the barrel. Using the Predator here, I'm also taking stock of where the uh, team are coming. However, looking at the Harrier here, I know that they've got the uh, Alpha Spawn, so where I dropped it uh, is a good location. There's also the Green Circle as a, another possible location which gets the people who spawn in the lower stair area. Didn't really pick up anyone there, but uh, that's okay. For the kill streaks, you saw a Predator Harrier. I'm also running the emergency airdrop. I have a few teammates spawning at sea now or coming around, as I can see by the minimap, so that's okay. And I'm just going to get to a safe area between uh, Bravo and Charlie so I can throw the airdrop. The direction that you throw the smoke for the airdrop is the direction that the AC, well, the uh, aircraft flies to drop the care packages and uh, usually the first package will land on where the smoke uh, is. I'm just moving a little bit here out of the way because uh, I didn't want the airdrop to land on me. Speeding it up because of the host migration. So I'm taking the best package first. It's probably obvious uh, about this but I'll mention it anyway. Uh, UAV last because I want to use it on for the airstrike and this ammo actually comes in handy for me to uh, give me my Semtex back and uh, some ammo. So I'm dropping it on the location that's perfect for their spawn considering they have the alpha flag. And uh, as you see, I uh, pick up the quad or more. Now those other two may have come from the Harrier, um, which is coming to an end, which is why I brought the Pavlo out. But uh, by now I think uh, a number of people would be annoyed and as you can see the anti air classes are coming out, there's two of them. So I'm just trying to make my way down there. Um, I don't mind getting aggressive after I've used the kill streaks uh, that I've selected. Um, I just want to try to stop these guys taking out the Pavlo at least anyway. Unfortunately I missed that second kill. But now they know I'm here and uh, this is their spawn area as well. So I didn't expect to last too long. Um, I'm at a disadvantage from this area because they can focus their fire down. And I didn't see that guy because of the smoke that became between us. That's okay. Just speeding up because of the uh, distance to get to certain locations. So I made my way back to uh, Charlie to hold it out. I still have some explosive barrels I can use to my advantage, but uh, they're not as uh, easy to use. They're better to use those ones when you're trying to take Charlie and someone could be around there. Now going down here, um, sure I pick up the spawn kill, but I'm at a disadvantage because I'm at a lower level and you'll see that coming up shortly. It's usually better to have elevation uh, on your enemy. Um, it's also a famous Sun Tzu quote, but it's true. Um, tactically it's very true. Try to get elevation advantages, especially for sniping and things like that. So here I'm just, uh, we've got the three flag caps, so I'm just looking into the cave, you know, a bit of cave duty here. 
we got some guys around there. Um, I heard that we we're losing C, so that's a good throw point. Doesn't work out for me there. I think the Pavlo actually takes out the guy, but uh, ooh, that was a lucky kill. So I pick up the kill, but he gets me with the Semtex. So I feel there's four primary uses for smoke. You got diversion, which uh, I'm going to try to do a number of times in this video. Uh, you can drop it on a flag and cap it with another person, but you don't want to be standing near each other. And you can also cap it while you're in a kneel position, just to lower your profile a little bit, but also allow you to sprint out of there if you need to. So here I'm throwing smoke again for diversion. Now, it doesn't work for me because I die, but have a look at this guy's screen. Um, I throw to smoke, he directly looks at it. And that's what you're going for with it. Now, with those barrels exploding, he changed his view, and I happen to run up at the inopportune time. Here's that throw point again, it works out for me well. So, uh, yeah, you can drop it on a flag and you can sprint away uh, with another teammate, so be on rundown and things like that is a good example. You can use it as escape to fill a room or an area and, and go away. And lastly, you can actually use it to piss off the enemy. If the enemy's in a, an area or bunched up, you can throw the smoke at them and they usually uh, run out of the smoke. They sprint out of the smoke because they think a Semtex is going to come. And obviously while they're sprinting, you have the advantage to take them down, especially if they're sprinting towards you. So that was unlucky. If I stayed my ground, I probably would have won that encounter um, because I was in a nice area. But uh, yeah, I was getting a little too aggressive there. I'm trying to keep it, but that's fine. And uh, that's almost bringing us to the end of the match. Now, it was a fairly quick match. I didn't get you know, a ridiculous amount of kills because uh, I only brought out the kill streaks once. But uh, hopefully, you picked up a few ideas for using smoke and uh, obviously a throw point for protecting Charlie if you're losing it. So started off really strong, ended fairly weak, um, that can happen in Modern Warfare 2, and I'm not immune to it. But anyway guys, it was a 25 to 5, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, see ya.